All right, so the last scenario we're gonna use for the back step, uh, I know we just showed you some on the ground strokes, is after the serve, which is really important. The serve, again, there's a lot of people off balance on the serve because those first four shots, we talked about the close combat. I'll link you to the other video on close combat regarding the serve. A lot of times you need to recover and get back and split on time and on balance because frankly, if you're if you have not the greatest serve and your opponent has a strong return, you're gonna get clobbered, okay? And one of the things we do on the serve, and you're gonna watch me here, is let's say you hit, let's say a weaker second serve, boom, and imagine your opponent inside the court attacking. A lot of times, look, you're standing right on the baseline. You're, you're dead meat, you're toast, right? If, if, if they fire that ball back deep, you're already playing defense and, and on the back foot, leaning backwards, and your opponent can step in and run a combo on you. So one of the most important footworks is actually using the back step right off the serve. So as so imagine you're loading, after you hit, hit that serve, you're gonna balance one on this left foot. This left foot has to be strong and balanced. And then, obviously if you hit a great serve, you're gonna take a step here and split, a transition split. But if you don't hit a great serve here, and you need to move back, well, that's where that back step comes in off the serve. You're gonna step forward and then back in, into a split. And again, that creates space between me and the baseline. All right, I want you to come around on this side. Now that you're on this side, you, you can see the footwork here. Boom, I'm gonna serve, land, back and split. And depending on how much distance you need, depends on how big of a back, of a back split you need to take, okay? So obviously the size of that back, the, that back step and split depends on, well, if they loop it back deep, you're gonna be taking a bigger step if, if it's a ball that comes faster, you're gonna be serving, boom, here, really low, right? And like no one does this footwork. That's why feet players are really ready after their serve. You see Federer just ready, just like that, attacking the ball and or defending, okay? But use this in your daily points. This is actually a somewhat advanced topic. I wouldn't worry too much about it, but it will make a difference if you want to follow your serve up and be able to defend well or fall at your serve, up, so your serve up and want to attack really fluidly from there. All right, so some examples of the back step off the serve. You see me serve there, that front boom and back to create space. And because it was a decent return, now I can move forward into the next shot instead of having to retreat on that third ball after the serve. It gives you a much better advantage in the rest of the point. Now, much like the last point, I'm hitting a weak second serve to my opponent's strength at the forehand, and boom, that back step allows me to live to fight another day, get back to the point, and maintain a strong rally. All right, on this last point, you're gonna see that again, you have to know your opponent. It's going to his backhand, his weaker side. I can split inside the court because I wanna step in and attack. I don't need a back step, okay? So you would use it wisely, use it situationally, and have fun with it this weekend. Alright, so thank you for watching again another preview of the Online Accelerator program. Uh, I don't know if this was new for you. If you feel like you learned something here, if this was new for you, I'd like you to smash that subscribe button just down below, okay? And so you'll get the next one, next one, etc. But again, this was the first, the back step of the three invisible footworks I cover in the Online Accelerator program. Obviously in the program we go way more in depth, get demos and some points, etc. You can see how it works in action. All right, um, really glad for you. If you haven't started yet, I'll leave the link below uh, to start that program. And again, what took me many, many years is to learn these footworks, you can have them for the literally the price of, of one lesson with me. So um, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. This is me doing a demo of the back step. And again, this is emulating someone ripping the ball deep at your feet. It's hard to necessarily feed that. So what you can do is just take a split step inside the court and have someone toss a deep ball. So you have to take that one step forward to push you back and establish that back foot to create some space. And although I'm moving backwards, I don't have forward momentum, at least I can get my, again, my upper body into the shot and I can get my legs pushing up into the shot. All right, which is a big difference. A little bit more slow motion, 
at least I'm pushing up into the ball with my legs. Okay, it's much better than having to take the ball, you know, an inch off the ground. 